Welcome back high school lacrosse fans as always the chief is there chopper here We are in week nine of this season and we're getting real close to playoff time chief anything last week We want to summarize real quick. What was going on? Uh, well, we got to see PV St. Margaret's right and PV played with him without the best player, right? So if anyone could do it this year, I think P I think it could be PV's year to win Win it all, win the CIF. Okay, there was a Bay League tournament. PV swept through that, yep, right? With uh, ease, with ease. Any other upsets or notable games? Uh, Agora's on an eight-game winning streak. Uh, Oaks Christian took it to Westlake, redeeming themselves. All right, Chief, look, we've done all the prognosticating we can. Nostradamus has struck, Strider has struck. But finally, the picks are in. The seeds have been sown, right? And uh, why don't you take us through those, all right? Yeah, well, bottom line is that you need gas in the tank. It's a long season. Teams have injuries, a couple kids maybe not academically eligible. Things happen in a season. So the team that has gas, the team that has depth, you know, I'm excited to see what happens in playoffs. Who can make that final push? All right, so the coaches have spoken. We're going to take you guys through the top 16 seeds now. Okay, Chief, let's get those seedings started off with number 16. San Marcos. Out of Santa Barbara County, San Marcos has a great record with only one loss. However, due to location, some may say their schedule's a bit soft. Does it even matter? Playoffs will tell. Let's take a look at the 15 seed. Uh, West Ranch. The Wildcats have a very red... The Wildcats have a very respectable record at 14 and 2, so they know they can win. However, they didn't play the most rigorous schedule, so will that affect them every when they play every team who is a top team? Chief, who do we have at 14? St. Francis. St. Francis has the ability. They have a very good goalie, they ride really hard, and they have kids who can fill the net. They surprised Chaminade mid-year, but Chaminade got redemption of them at the end of the year. Can they play consistently and at the ability they are capable of? The 13 seed is... Newberry Park. The Panthers sit right under 500. Nothing major stands out in their body of work. They play a very tough schedule, so they are battle tested, but do they have enough to get to the next level? The Panthers do have three or four of the top guys in LA, but can the other guys step up? Who was the coach's pick for the 12 seed? Crespi. Can luck be with the Celts? If history is any indicator, Crespi will find some success in the playoffs. With one of the best players in LA taking charge and a supporting cast who has gained experience against a super tough schedule, keep an eye on the Celtics moving forward. They, they seem to play the best lacrosse during playoffs. Coming in at number 11. Sierra Canyon. The Trailblazers are very nicked up after a long season. Not so much depth on this team, but young kids getting a lot of experience. Already a little shallow, will these young kids be able to have enough experience moving forward? They do have a great goalie, they can face off, they will be dangerous. Here's the 10 seed. St. John Bosco. Regardless of what happens in the season, Bosco had an amazing year with only one loss. Keep an eye on the Braves moving forward. I have them on an upset alert. They have the best face-off guy, which means they will have possessions. They're six on six. If it's on, they win. If it's off, early exit. The number nine seed. Chaminade. The Eagles are a tough team to figure out. They're below 500, but they played a super tough schedule. They had some great wins to start the year and some concerning losses in the middle of the year. At the end of the year, a huge win against a top team from San Diego. So maybe they're firing on all cylinders. They do have the talent. What team will show up? All right, we're here to the top eight. Who's the eight seed? Oak Park. Oak Park is doing their thing. They're around 500. The games they're supposed to win, they won. The games that they were uh, the underdogs in, they lost. Can they get one when they, when they get to playoffs? Can they beat a team maybe they're not as talented as? We will see. The number seven seed is... Miracosta. Don't call Miracosta a dark horse. The Mustangs have solid wins over Sierra Canyon and Bosco. They've put up double digits in all but two of their games. They just got a midi back after he transferred in. I think he may be the difference. I'm calling one upset. It's the Mustangs. Coming in at number six. Westlake. 
Is Carson cool enough to propel the Warriors through the bracket? Westlake's face-off kid will definitely give them extra possessions. What will they do with those possessions? Will a loss to Oaks Christian in the last team of the game, are they able to rally off it? The number five seed coming here. Agora. The Chargers have won their last nine games in a row. Maybe it's eight games. I think it's nine. The goal, playing your best across at the end of the year. Nine in a row surely says that. The Chargers are talented and led by a senior in goal and a senior heavy defense. Keep an eye on the Chargers. All right, top four now. Here's the four seed. Harvard Westlake. The Wolverines always seem to find themselves in a three spot. Is this their year they make the leap? I think senior leadership is very strong at Harvard Westlake, and they're just a goal shy in two games against the best teams. They have the ability. Will they get to the next level? We will see. Next up, the three seed. Oaks Christian. The Lions started the season red hot, going 9 0 before suffering the first setback against a talented Palos Verdes team. They have the poise on offense, athleticism on defense. They can make a run. A huge convincing win against Westlake for the last game of the season shows that they are for real. They can make the next level. Chief, who we got at number two? Loyola. The Cubs have been up and down this year. But you can never count out the two-time CAF champs. They have experience. They went back east. They played Garden City. They've seen the best of the best. Can they make it a three-peat? And finally, the top-seeded team for this year's playoffs. Palos Verdes. Seeking Nation is the real deal. They have talent all over the field. Solid at the face-off, rooted in goal. PV stays healthy, which is a question mark. They have the skill, the team chemistry. Maybe they can win it all.